I'm the publisher of Wine & Jazz Magazine. Wine & Jazz Magazine celebrates the perfect lifestyle combination. We're going to show you little snippets of a inside a Wine & Jazz wine tasting party we held at Robert Renzoni Vineyards in Temecula, California. And we had along a few of our fun jazz musician friends. Fetton is one of the oldest winemaking families in all of Napa. Uh, the winery's been there for over 100 years. It's centered in the Oak Knoll district of Yonkville, which is at the base of the mountain. They get a nice, cool front that comes in in the morning, heat intensifies in the afternoon, and then it calms down again about 5 o'clock. So good, ripe, rich, ripe fruit, perfect for Chardonnay in the, in the, in the afternoons and in the, even in the mornings. Hi, my name is Steve Oliver, and I'm a musician, songwriter, singer sometimes, guitar player sometimes. And um, you're enjoying this amazing wine. I'm Mindy A. Bear. I play saxophone. I sing. I hang out with Steve Oliver. <laughs> I hang out with Mindy. <laughs> and uh, we're drinking wine tonight. We've tried how many wines have we tried? Yeah. Quite a few. Quite a few. I think we're up to nine right now. And I gotta say, now I'm completely confused. We're grading them. <laughs> I got five. We're supposed to be oh, on you nine. Got five. This is Carpe Diem, 2007. Chardonnay, and this is an 06 vintage. Excuse me, 07. Come on, you're on the spot. One. I've, I've flatlined on the spot before. Come on. Come on. Oh, you should have the same thing that makes you Stylistically, it sees 100% uh, malolactic, so you're gonna get a lot more of that buttery creaminess to it. It's a real deep wine, uh, a lot more structure than, say, Trefethen and Carpe Diem. It's gonna be a lot bigger in style. That's a real nutty flavor. My car, that was very good. <laughs> I'm feeling the love. Well, we're the Vino Vixens, and once a month we get together and we taste different wines. So the hostess of the month uh, gets to choose what wine they're going to drink, either a Zinfandel or a Pinot Grigio or Sangiovese or whatever the host wants. We all meet at different houses each month. And then uh, we get together and pretty much we have a scorecard, just like the one you see here, and we rate the wine. So if it's all Merlot, then we taste all the Merlots, rating them, one being, you know, I'd rather drink the dump bucket, and, you know, five being, I, I want to buy a whole case, I, I want to buy the store. <laughs> And remember, wine and jazz encourages responsible wine drinking and excessive jazz listening.